Greetings and welcome to Transform Today, where we can uh, have an open and honest conversation. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. So let's get right to it. Um, you might have noticed uh, immediately when you clicked on this video that the setting is different. Typically I do these videos, Transform Today, from my office. But today, um, um, it's different. Um, I'm, I think you should know, or you probably already know, that I, I pastor a church. Uh, I do other things too, but I pastor a church in a rural community in central Alberta. And this day, July the 5th, was our second service that we had uh, in, since March. We reopened the church at the end of June, June 28th. Um, of course, uh, according to the guidelines given to us, and um, the folks are starting to come back, and um, it's been good. It's been really good to be able to see people and to uh, be around the community of faith. Uh, the other thing, too, is I'm doing what uh, is commonly referred to as batching it. Uh, my dear wife, uh, has taken a trip to visit her sister in uh, Saskatchewan, and uh, so I'm batching it. So after the service today, I came home and I um, had brunch. Cooked up some farm fresh eggs, some toast, put some uh, homemade jelly on my toast, and of course, a good cup of coffee with my favorite mustache coffee cup. Um, so let's talk about, about food or about uh, the kinds of food. food. Something I'll share about you. I was born in, into an Italian family, so you probably already got this stereotype in your brain without me saying any more. Um, yes, I do like spaghetti. I do like lasagna. I like any kind of pasta. I'm a little fussy on the sauces. Uh, I'm, I've been spoiled. My mother... My mother and father uh, came to Canada post-war uh, 1950s. They grew up on farms in northern Italy where they made everything from scratch pretty well and uh, phenomenal food, uh, particular to their region of Italy. Every region in Italy has its own um, style of cooking and even uh, its own different kinds of uh, recipes for maybe even the same kind of foods you would find in another region. Uh, there would be something that you should try and explore maybe online now, but if you ever get a chance to go to Italy and do a little traveling around the boot, as I call it, uh, you will be pleasantly uh, surprised at the quality and, and the types of food that you will be able to enjoy, not to mention the local wines. Anyways, uh, I digress. Um, so let's talk about food. So um, I can cook. Matter of fact, Years and years ago, one of the very first jobs I ever had growing up in a um, national park, in a uh, town uh, site uh, where many, many people traveled from all over the world to come to visit. Uh, growing up there and going through school there, I, um, I, my first few job, my first jobs really were in uh, the restaurant business. Uh, had every job, every occupation that you could possibly imagine, even, uh, well, except manager. But, you know, cook, chef, uh, shorter cook, sous chef, dishwasher, server, janitor, supervisor, and all this before the ripe old age of 19. And um, it was a really great place to learn. And, and I learned how to cook. And um, in, in my house, uh, for the past 26 years, my wife has been the major contributor because I, I always say to her, and it's not because I don't want to cook, it's because her food is par excellence. And uh, I would rather have her food than my food, to put it uh, simply. Some of my favorite recipes, Italian recipes, would be with my homemade uh, uh, sauce, you know, uh, meat sauce. Um, certainly uh, polenta is a staple. Uh, that's cornmeal, and it's called polenta in Italian. Uh, with sauerkraut or with meat sauce or some sort of sauce, red sauce. And um, there's all sorts of great Italian uh, recipes that I've learned to cook. 
And uh, one of my favorite ways to serve spaghetti, at least in my household, and even when co people come to visit, like our kids and stuff like that, is baked spaghetti. <clears throat> I make it probably differently than you would find in most restaurants, but certainly the same idea. Uh, the reason I like baked spaghetti is because, well, it stays warm for a long time. Uh, spaghetti, when you serve spaghetti uh, straight out of the pot uh, with meat sauce or whatever you're using, uh, it needs to be eaten right away. Uh, it cools down very fast and it, and it does lose some of its flavor that way. Um, but baked spaghetti and baked lasagna and baked ravioli and all those things, they, they, they stay warm. Uh, some other food that I like, uh, it wasn't until later, you know, in life or in my 20s that I started um, trying out Chinese food. Now, I've had the typical Chinese food you would find in Chinese, Western Chinese restaurants. Um, but I've also had Chinese food made by good Chinese friends like they would have made back home in China. And I'm just going to say right now, there's a world of difference. There's a world of difference. So what do you like? You know, I find it interesting. I, uh, you know, I grew up, I was a teenager during the 70s, but I grew up, uh, going to a restaurant was, was a treat. Now, there was lots of restaurants to go to, certainly in, in, a, in the tourist town that I grew up in. Um, but it was really mostly a treat. And it wasn't until later on in life that, uh, you know, it, it became very popular to, to attend restaurants. And I think that's, that's okay. But it's, it, it's just, I always look at, at going to a restaurant with good food as a treat. As, a, as just a special blessing. And, it's, and I really to, totally enjoy it. Um, so what's your favorite food? Um, what do you like? Um, do you have your own favorite recipe? Why don't you just uh, put it in the comment section, just talk about it, or, or put it, you know, let's communicate that. And um, that'd be great, I think. It'd be great to learn something about you. And regarding this video, you might find that the lighting is not as the other videos are. I, I didn't bring my lighting equipment for videos home from my office. So you're getting natural light. It is two o'clock in the afternoon. It's a sunny day out there right now, at least for the next few minutes. So this is what you get. But anyways, back to, to your favorite food. Why don't you share that in your comments? But I do want to talk about, um, because I mentioned about reopening. Um, this is something that I didn't do on my own. Uh, there's a team, we're calling it a transition team. And we, we, we began meeting right back in March when things were shutting down and shutting down and shutting down and uh, making plans. And we met three times over the course of, from March till, till the beginning of July here. And um, to make decisions about when and when we're gonna open and what's that gonna look like compared to what it used to be like prior to COVID-19. And um, it, it was a challenge, I'll be honest with you. It was a challenge as, as a, a leader in the, in the community of faith. It, could have been, it was a little stressful at times. And uh, I'm so glad, glad that I had a, 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 a group of people around me, a team of three others that would, uh, would challenge me and uh, assure me and encourage me and pray for me and all those things. So it's been good that way, for sure. And I look forward to the weeks ahead as, as uh, we see what happens with COVID-19 here in Alberta and then, of course, and other places too, uh, what will happen in the future. Of course, all the summer plans have been changed. Um, uh, you know, potlucks and barbecues and stuff like that. They're, they're, all, they're all ceased for this time being and for good reasons. Um, but anyways, how have you been challenged? Uh, have you been able to maybe go to a restaurant? They are open in Alberta. And if you're not in a place where it's open, what have you done to to maybe enjoy the summer. Uh, maybe it's a walk, maybe it's a fire pit in your backyard, maybe it's even a, a trip to the nearest provincial park where you're allowed to go and, you, and you've had time to go there and there's not crowds and crowds of people. This would be a good time to go to the national parks. Uh, they are open in, I suppose, in limited ways. I'm not sure on what exactly I would, if I were you, I would check the guidelines there because 
you know, all the international people that go there every year, millions upon millions of people in the national parks. Uh, this is, a, if they're open, this would be a good opportunity to go there and not be uh, crowded. I would stick to Jasper National Park and parks that are away from major centers. Uh, that's my thoughts on that anyway. So how are you being challenged and how are you enjoying the summer? How have, how have you coped with, um, with uh, all the things that have changed since March? Um, I did talk about stress in one of these uh, Transform Today videos. Maybe you can, you can go check the playlist and find that one and have that conversation. But I just wanted to check in with you. I wanted to share you what batching it is for me. It's pretty, pretty mild. Uh, after we're done with this, I'm going to change into my, uh, um, my outside uh, yard work clothes. And I'm going to go cut the back grass and do some trimming. And uh, who knows, I'm also going to probably prepare some meals ahead of time for my work week starting uh, Monday, tomorrow. And um, oh, yeah, I just want to share with you, um, um, I get to do something that, that is just a joy and a blessing to me. I get to go tomorrow and look after my granddaughter. She's one years old. Uh, her mom's helping her in-laws um, take care of some medical issues. Uh, medical, medical visits or something like that, appointments. I'm not quite sure. I don't have the details, but uh, I was offered the opportunity to go spend three, four hours with my granddaughter, and uh, I'm so looking forward to that tomorrow. And, uh, and if you're a grandparent, uh, I hope you enjoy your grandkids. Um, your kids, my kids have grown up so fast, it's even a blink of an eye. They were babies, and now they're having kids of their own. So uh, try and enjoy them, even if you can't get near them, if you can't be with them. Uh, just just spend time with them. So anyways, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for being with me in my kitchen on my island with my dining room behind me, with the sun shining outside, with my favorite coffee cup after, after a great uh, brunch. Uh, cook yourself up a wonderful dinner tonight and enjoy it with your family and friends. And if you're solo, well, you know, flip up, open that, uh, that phone or someone that call someone and have a virtual dinner together. Do something. Encourage each other, folks. Take care of each other. Help someone. And have yourself a fantastic day. Shalom.